Emerges in the Philippines and Philippines health cover. Um, free health care, shall we say. My father-in-law was in a motorcycle accident last week and it was pretty bad, let's just put it that way. Um, but he was in the south of uh, Cebu Island. Um, was he down at Dem... It wasn't as far as Don Maggetti, but he was... It was south, about three hours south of Minglanidia. Um, lost control of the vehicle, ended up in a canal, head damage, face damage, lips, lip split, head split, and went to the local district hospital. The district hospitals are free, uh, free healthcare. They refuse to do any assistance. Um, it's actually illegal, but that's what they did, nothing. Um, he then uh, made his way home. Bear in mind his head split open and his mouth is all split and he made his way home. Then did he, I think he actually, he must have gone to the Minglanilia District Hospital that night as well and then went home after giving up because he went there and they had a needle and thread and said, is it okay we use this? It's been used already though. No sterilization. Um, what century are we living in? Um, so he returned home. 24 hours passed. It's now, I think, Sunday or Monday. And eventually he went to a private clinic. And they were saying, what the hell has been going on here? When you have these sort of injuries, it's the first few hours that are essential. Why have you waited a day? You, you know, because the head... His head wound hasn't stopped bleeding, neither is his face. Um, and long story short, he spent a week in hospital. He didn't contact us, and neither did my mother-in-law, uh, till sort of midweek, when we found out via my wife's sister that her father had been in an accident. Um, because they don't want to be a burden on us because if they have a problem they don't want it being oh the foreigner coming to the rescue they wanted to deal with it themselves we did deal with it but the whole point is it's frustrating for me because we make the money available anyway um, we have an emergency fund for this sort of thing um, so if I put it long story short a week in hospital with your head split open your lip split open having it all stitched dealt with bed in the hospitals cost us about 22,000 pesos um, but these things happen quite often in the Philippines which is why I say have an emergency fund it's like this we have some tenants coming and going next month well we've got some that are there for the next five months but I think we've got a changeover coming so the money that um, will be from that before we do any more construction work that 22,000 will replenish in the bank first that's how we work our funding the, we have an emergency fund that is always brought up before we spend it on anything else um, it's something I advise doing for anybody else but also be aware um, it's not the first time that Ming Danilia Hospital has been in trouble um, if we go back to 2015, November 2015, a child died at the Minglanilia District Hospital. Um, it's Do you get what you pay for? I would say no. A death wish is not free. Um, a death wish, death wish for me um, is actually incompetence. Uh, it's not a doubt about having a lack of medical care or whatever. You sign an oath when you become a doctor. And you may not be able to afford the bandages or anything else, but you can always tell the family, go and get me this, go and get me that, because we do not have the budget for it. Um, I'll leave it at that. It's just a frustration for me. Um, I'm just glad my father-in-law is nurse him back to health, although he's got bandages everywhere. But I just want to make people aware that these things happen to all of us. Um, I just want to share my experience that 
I would never go to one of the public hospitals. <laughs> That's why I'm always private. All right, thanks for watching.